name's Chris Wilms. I'm a structural instructor currently based out of District 14 headquarters. Uh, today I've been at Fisville in the role of PAD coordinator and uh, I've been working with a, a group of member, CFA members from around District 14 and they've been up here today for a practical component of their BA assessment. So those members have undertaken their training in their brigades. They've been trained by uh, other brigade members and uh, have had completed some components of the assessment already before coming up here today. So some of the uh, the ancillary tasks associated with the wearing of BA as well as all of the theory assessment components. So today they've come up to do what we call the uh, the hostile environment component which is searching in uh, a situation where we provide the conditions that are as realistic as possible to try to create an environment similar to what they might face in a real structure fire situation. So uh, they are assessed first of all in their donning and starting up, so putting the breathing apparatus on according to fire ground practices within a specified time frame. So they have 100 seconds to be able to don and start up the breathing apparatus and making sure that they do everything correctly and in the right order. Then they move on and they do a primary search uh, of a structure that is laid out as a single storey house which has real fires and is full of real smoke. They have limited visibility and in that environment they need to demonstrate to us their ability to be able to search the building effectively, communicate well with each other and make sure that they can carry that out in a safe manner. Once they've completed that they then go on to do a what's known as a secondary search and they conduct that in a double storey building which is quite a, simulates quite a large house which has an open plan uh, area on the ground floor and simulates uh, bedrooms, bathrooms, those type of rooms up on the, uh, up on the upper level. So the members uh, spend a half day, we've had two separate groups in today, we take uh, eight students in each session and they've worked with some of our uh, volunteer instructors that we, we have in a pool of in District 14 and they've undertaken uh, their assessments throughout the day. One of the things that we uh, we have in District 14 and we're incredibly fortunate is that we have quite a large pool of volunteer instructors who have undergone a fairly rigorous training and selection process and they work regularly uh, with me on the structural, all types of the structural firefighting courses both as instructors and assessors. Um, throughout the district we also have a number of uh, volunteers who perform that role as driver educators and help out on wildfire courses as well. So, you know, I had um, probably five volunteer instructors up here today with me and that means that it really enhances the level of training and assessment that we're able to provide to volunteers in District 14. So uh, we're very fortunate to have that.